how my fellow targeted individuals. Okay. I told you, I've been having to buy headphones for years. Um, they look perfectly fine, but one ear goes out, or they both go out, and nothing's wrong with them. Okay. All the mics are messed up on, you know, the Wi-Fi phones and everything. This phone... You know, um, you know, I finally was able to get a new pair of headphones. But, um, so it's working temporarily. But without the headphones? No. And none of them work without the headphones. So, basically, this has been happening for years now. You know, I finally started throwing the headphones away. But, um, yeah, I've been having a hard time lately. And I haven't been able to upload. Um, you know, as you know, I've been assessed. And nothing's wrong with me. I don't need no, no, what you call it, medication or services like that. But, I'm getting other services from the mental health. Um, today, we're going to try to get my ID. I went to go cash a, a check, and I still don't have no income. And my ID was two days overdue. Okay. So, one of the home team is going to send me money to cover my ID. So, you know, the case manager is going to, you know, see what she can do about getting everything else. Everything else um, taken care of, you know. I brought my birth certificate with me and everything else. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know how this crap works. I don't know nothing about computers. I don't know nothing about computers. You see, I don't know how to edit, you know, or put any fancy stuff or an intro, you know, into my uploads and stuff. But, um, yeah. So, I wasn't able to pay rent. And the manager left something on my door, but he knows I can't see. You know, I texted him, you know, saying that my, to work with me because uh, my ID is overdue and I'm trying to get my ID, but he never got back to me. But, um, come on, it's, you know, it's 16 years, it'll be 17, December 15th that I have not, never paid rent. You get me? So that should count for something, but we'll see, because, boy, am I targeted over here. You know, I can't even get a, a decent night's sleep without crying in pain. You know, I'm still on the floor. The covers are messed up. You know, I get up to go to the bathroom and stuff. You know, I look at the covers, I spread it back out. But I'm always in pain. It's like torture in my sleep they torture me in my sleep too and um you know the nights where it's really bad you know my cat in the morning he looks like he's had no sleep because you know that cat's a little protector you know when I have a bad sleep and stuff he don't get hardly any sleep you know when I wake up he'll be there Awake, just waiting. But, um, right now I'm gonna smoke this cigarette. Thank God I have a cigarette. Well, that's nothing to thank God for. You know what? There's a lot of other things to thank God for. You know, a lot of other things. 
you know, and I pray for these gang stalkers. I pray for them. And I don't hold any animosity towards them. And I forgive. But I'm a human. And I just think, they know what they're doing. They know they're hurting me. They see, they hear. And they distribute this pain and this torture on purpose. I love you guys. I do. Hang in there with me. Peace, love, and laughter. I need to, I could use some laughter. But my spirit is good. I have to keep my spirit good. Because I can't go around being angry. Like obviously these people are. They have to be filled with anger and some other sort of thing to be targeting and distributing torment like this. But keep me in your prayers. God is good. I lift all my problems up to him. Peace out.